So check this out. This is DMS, one of the most respected creators covering headphones and earbuds, and the one who made the Nothing Ear 2 earbuds sound good. And he sent me a message one day asking me if I wanted to fly all the way over to this place called Buffalo, New York to see what's inside this box. Now, normally I wouldn't do something like that, let alone wake up at 4 a.m. to get on a flight to do it mere days after being invited. But what's inside this box isn't something that you get to see often. In fact, what is inside is an extraordinary piece of tech that only a few people are lucky enough to ever check out in their entire lives. So when you're faced with an opportunity like that, what do you say? I said yes, got on a plane, met with DMS, went to a studio, and that's when I first saw it. Okay, here you go. <laughs> oh, that's it? I have never seen anything like this before. And it was especially exciting to me because it's by Sennheiser. If you're unfamiliar with Sennheiser, they're a family owned German audio company founded in 1945 that is known for some of the best microphones and headphones out there. They're trusted and loved by major movie studios, bands, audiophiles, and more. And that's uh, very exciting for me because I've been using Sennheiser products for over 20 years as a sound engineer. Heck, I'm using their mic right now for this video, but I know what you're thinking. How much is whatever is in this box? About 60,000. <laughs> That's as much as a Tesla Model Y performance with enhanced autopilot, as long as they don't like change the price again. That's more than a boat and more than some of the houses you can buy in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> what? Well, we gotta open this thing. I've actually never unboxed one of these, so this is kind of a first oh, for both never... of us. Yeah. My heart was okay. racing. As every class was unlatched, the anticipation built and I thought, would it be a letdown? Would my life change after this? Is that the last one? I think so. And then it was time. All right, on three. Yeah. One, two, three. And there it was, the coveted $60,000 Sennheiser HE1 headphones and all of its glo- Wait, my heart sank. Did the marble crack? Holy sh- Something was seriously wrong. I could see the insides of the amp. Some chunks have even broken off. I thought, what the heck happened to this thing? Did someone drop it? There's like whole pieces missing. Would this mess up the way that it sounded? Did it still work? I don't know if we can listen to this. Even worse, would this entire trip be ruined? I was honestly trying to cope with the reality of the situation. Well, the good thing is, is that we knew this one was broken. What? You just, yeah. you literally just like, you pulled one on me? <laughs> I can't believe you guys, you guys are jerks. <laughs> this was actually stolen. What? And one of the guys in my patron chat recovered it and we got a hold of the Sennheiser guys and they got this unit back and we got it here so we could tell the story. The guys online found it on the eBay listing, matched the pattern of the marble and realized it was the stolen unit. When it got to one of my patrons, it was in this condition. Oh. Yeah. Holy cow. Because the guy who stole it shipped it just in a cardboard box with no padding or anything. Well, thankfully. We have a second one here. That, well, I, 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 <laughs> that I you will that actually was, get to listen okay, to. I figured that was the case. <laughs> so we unboxed the one that wasn't broken and let me tell you. Oh yeah, that looks way better. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, right? <laughs> this thing is insane. First, the marble is extracted from the same marble used for the statue of David. Yeah, that statue of David, no big deal. Second, it's all about having the ultimate, unadulterated, uninterrupted, most proper listening experience possible. When I went to the factory and saw them making it in Ireland, like there's a guy in a room dedicated to building these and like he tests like each component 250 times. Perfect for the kind of person that would have a listening room and a nice chair. And all you have to do is turn it on to know that this thing is on another level. What the heck, even the remote control's heavy. Well, if someone's gonna come in and steal it, you gotta whack them over the head with it. You see, something magical happens when you have everything plugged in and you turn it on. That right there, just press it in. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> First, eight stunning cylinders emerge from their bunker, containing eight tubes that help provide a warmer and smooth sound. Then a pane of glass lifts up as if something cryogenically frozen is finally made free. Well, hello. <laughs> a little bit of a, a nice show for you. The dials materialize out of the marble. And get this, based on what you have plugged into it, it will auto adjust the dials to the proper setting. And by the time everything has gotten into its place, and that little click there means it is warm and ready to go. It was finally time to listen to the Sennheiser HE1. 
Now, I can't fully describe how it sounds, and of course I'll try, but you'll also have a chance to hear how it compares with some of Sennheiser's other headphones later on in the video, so keep watching for that. And the headphones, oh, they're beautifully constructed out of metal, open-backed, and incredibly comfortable. So they have these fins because part of the amplifier is built into the headphone. Oh, So it has to cool itself because they are electrostatic. There's no magnets in there anywhere. They're phenomenal. Now, I have to ask, if you were to have an opportunity to listen to a song on the Sennheiser HU-1, what would be the first song that you'd listen to? Let me know in the comments. For the first song I'm gonna listen to is this track called Flight by my friend Hannah Parrott. She's a composer, one of my favorite songs by her. This cinematic journey starts with a quiet and gentle piano that builds and builds as various string instruments come in with an arpeggiated rhythm and a soaring violin played by my old roommate. I began to tear up when the song's most moving part hit. I was moved by the music in ways that I had never experienced before. I could hear the texture and bow against the string of my roommate's violin in ways that I hadn't heard before. There's an incredible separation between the instruments. The sound stage was wide and immersive, and it never felt like an ounce of harshness was to be found while still being crisp, airy, and clean. It was honestly like this thing was EQ'd with surgical precision. Just unreal. I'm gonna need a nap after that. <laughs> oh my god. That's something, isn't it? I'm like all warm and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I then listened to Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah. The dynamics of it, like you can actually feel it way more than usual. I don't know, part of it might be like the way that we produce music now compared to back then where they mm -hmm. allowed it to breathe more, but like this song allows you to hear that movement and stuff. Yeah. You can really hear like the like the flutters of his voice. Yeah, like... I, I can like imagine just the fingers plucking at the guitar. Mm -hmm. Even his skin and his like fingers like hitting the string. That is wild. It's like hyper real and euphoric at the same time. It actually gave me a greater appreciation for how good he is at playing and, and the dynamics and how clean he can be. Subtle details that you can find out of that song that I just wasn't able to hear before. Yeah. Interesting. So Paradise by Coldplay typically yeah. has the hi-hat. Is is a it's a pretty harsh sounding hi-hat normally. Yeah. And so that like other headphones and earbuds, when you listen to it, it'll it'll really bring that out. But this one is just like it manages to stay like yeah. right within that that range of like you got some sizzle to it, but it doesn't hurt. Sizzly butter. Then I checked out Electric Mantis's Rose City. He's like a DJ electronic guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna save this track. It does this thing where it goes, and it like goes all around you, and that's why I was like, whoa. Then I checked out Tesseract's Seven Names. Going from the spectrum, Jeff Buckley to like metal. <laughs> yeah, right. Surprisingly yeah. punchy. Oh yeah, it kicks. Yeah. And finally, many tracks off of Daft Punk's Random Access Memories to hear that beautiful, warm, analog sound. I mean, you just gotta. The Sennheiser HU-1s managed to have a level of articulation, space, weight, and clarity without falling into the traps of being honky, tubby, bloated, sharp, or plasticky that many other headphones have. But instead of just telling you, let me give you a taste. Obviously, this sample is not a true one-to-one -one translation of how it sounds, but this will allow you to hear the comparative differences between the HU-1, the Sennheiser HD 560S, the HD 6XXs, and the HD 800S. And of course, there are affiliate links in the description if you want to pick up any of these. It truly helps to listen to this section with headphones or earbuds in both ears for the full experience. Now this sample will start with the original track and go into the HD one so you can hear how it's coloring the track. And if you want the extended takes of these samples, they're available exclusively for YouTube channel members. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts and observations in the comments.
I was especially interested in how close the HD6XXs sounded to the HD1, especially on that top end. And of course, the 6XXs had less of the low end, but the high end is surprisingly close. Even more surprising was how different the HD800S's high end sounded compared to the HD1. Crazy, right? This makes me love the HD6XS's even more, and they're not even super expensive. If you love these sound samples, you should check out this playlist right here for more of my audio reviews and comparisons. I promise you're gonna love them. Thanks to DMS and Sennheiser flying me out and allowing me to check out the Sennheiser HE1. I really hope to check them out again soon. Thanks for watching. This is Tech Today. Until next time.